Now, you're in the zone daily sports break with Brian Eccles. The best of local sports on display every single day right here inside the zone. I'm Brian Eccles with your daily sports break. Part two between Raleigh, Egypt and Fayette where it took place tonight. The winner to move on to the region semifinals to take on Mitchell. Let's go to the highlights. It was a continuation of the Wildcats and Pharaohs after moisture on the court caused Saturday's game to be suspended. Fayette Ware, plenty of confidence as a four seed this weekend, picking right back up where they left off, leading by three at the break. Fayette Ware on a tear to start the second half, six straight points to build a nine point third quarter lead. Everything was dropping, even shots like that. Raleigh Egypt had to get a timeout to regroup. Coach Miller turning to his senior, Devontae Williams. He answered the call. Williams to stop the hang in the bucket. Moments later on the attack again, another one in the lane. Then Williams outlet pass to Christopher McKnight taking flight. <laughs> Pharaoh started to wake up, but Fayette Ware was already woke. They were on fire. They couldn't miss, especially this kid, Trey Yates, Trey Bueno. He was getting in from all over, folks, and the Wildcats, the four seed, take out the top seed of Pharaohs by 20, 70 to 50. They'll take on Mitchell and Ripley 2 tonight, 7.45, the start time there. Meanwhile, pandemonium at Tipton Rosemark. The Rebels punching their ticket to the state tournament with a win over good pasture. Coach Cedric Anderson says his team has been focused since day one. And we told the guys, if you work hard, believe in the fundamentals of the game, and give 110%, we will have an opportunity to go to state. All right, that's a wrap for your daily sports break. I'm Brian Eccles. I'll catch you next time right here, Inside the Zone.